Some people say Milwaukee is not a dangerous place. What do you think? Oh, shit. You are now entering Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In 2018, they ranked at number 10 in the United States for highest murder rate. Also home to 53206, the most incarcerated zip code in the country, where 6 out of 10 men have been locked up. Stay safe and exercise caution. You know, just be very careful. Hello everybody, I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm just off the highway. I've been begging for quarters and dollars because today I'm doing a going homeless in Milwaukee challenge, one of the most dangerous cities in America. And my SD card erased the initial footage where I collected $5. To show you what it looks like to collect money, I'm gonna go through it again. This is the mission. I'm gonna buy a case of water. I'm gonna sell that so I can buy myself a tarp to sleep on. It's supposed to rain tonight. I wanna buy some food. Here's my gear. I have a water bottle. I have a backpack. That's a water filtration device. Okay, empty backpack. I have my camping pillow here. I have my sleeping bag here. My phone will be going on airplane mode for the duration of this challenge. I'm gonna show you what it takes to get some quarters, bag it on the highway, and then we'll go from there. All right, let's go get some more quarters. Hey, excuse me, sir, do you have an extra quarter? Excuse me, I just need one more quarter to buy a case of water to sell. Do you have a quarter? Hey there, sir, do you got an extra quarter? I need 75 cents to get a case of water to sell. Do you have an extra quarter? I appreciate it, man. You don't know how helpful this is. Thank you so much. I'm home the too. What do you, where do you sleep? I'm trying in to figure, car. your car? Yeah, I love my house. I was paying the fucking rent and in the long run, he wasn't paying the, the mortgage. So the bank came and take a cab. Oh, shit, I don't know. At least I got my fucking car. Have a good one, man. Thank you. Oh my gosh. There's people going through really rough times. I don't really need the money and that guy just gave me the last, maybe the last two quarters he has and he's homeless with his son. Do you have just one quarter? Anyone got just one more quarter? Do you got just one quarter? Hey, that's literally what I need to buy a case of wa water with it. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Hey, God bless. Have a good night, okay? Okay. So to get three dollars and four, five, five seventy-five, five eighty-five. It probably took about half an hour to forty-five minutes if I had to guess. What did you think I was up to over here? We no, thought you we, was homeless. We thought you were homeless. Do I look, do I, am I playing the part okay? She said you looked like a football player. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he is homeless, he fresh out here, you know. And then I said, you know what, let's go back and get him. Let's take him to where you need to go. That's so, I mean, you guys are some of the nicest people I've met all day. I really appreciate you even offering. When you got that camera like that, be careful, uh, but you, you know don't what? want to get hurt. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, Have a good rest of your day. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't need no more changes. No, I, I got enough. I got enough, but okay. thank you. Thank you so much. I started this video with not a dime in my pocket. I'm going to now go to buy a case of water. I'm going to do it like an entrepreneur. I'm going to get enough money where I have my necessities. I'm going to earn it by selling something of value. I got to make it out to Walmart, Capital Drive Walmart. So we'll go on an adventure to get there. You got to replace the battery and we'll keep on the mission. Let's go. How you guys doing today? How you doing? Do you mind if I ask you for some advice? Yes, you can. I'm looking for a place to sleep tonight and I'm trying to figure out where the best spot is. Well, the best spot is close to our rescue mission. What about that one on 15th and Center? Do you think it's better if I just go outside? I wouldn't do that, not being this color. Uh, well, I can sleep right back there. You got a good spot? Just go lay right back over there, right over back over there. I'm going to keep walking that way, see what I find, but I appreciate your advice. Right now, I'm a few hours in. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm sweaty and smelly. What did I expect though, right? I got about another pound of water left. We're at the Martin Luther King Public Library right now. Pretty much anywhere in America you walk down MLK, you're going to find a gritty part of the city. So 
Let's keep it moving. Oh, shit. What the? Someone's gonna fucking die. Well, have a good day, buddy. Yeah, you too. Stay safe. A uh, fucking car crashes here in Milwaukee. Here's someone's fender. So we're coming up on Holton Street. Holton is the invisible line that segregates Milwaukee. So Milwaukee is known as one of the most segregated cities in the country, and that's the line that draws it. It's a very quick change, you can tell. I am thrilled to announce I've made the journey to Walmart, baby. All right, and the question of the day, sir, is this. If you were mayor, they were mayor of Milwaukee. If you were mayor of Milwaukee, what would you do about the homeless? What would you do about the homeless issue? How would you help those people? I'd take all the abandoned houses and remodel them. The Democrat in me would want to probably build up a new shelter or up multiple locations where people can uh, at least get some good rest, a good meal, and probably a shower. But the Republican in me says, I wouldn't want to get to the source of why they're homeless. Like all these abandoned like buildings we ain't using, I'll open up probably like shelters. That's Maybe smart. Shelters. That's smart. Take care, brother. And then would you have those people pay rent or live there for free or what would you do once they move in? No. Make sure to get a job. Yeah. But they can be able to help you step out. Okay. And one thing we're trying to figure out is what do you think are the common reasons that most people end up on this street? On drugs. Heroin, cocaine, pills. A lot of alcohol I noticed too. Alcohol, weed, everything. Mission accomplished, baby. First customer of the day. I appreciate you. Have a good one. You guys need water? You thirsty? Looking for water, sir? Uh, come on, man. You're gonna stay hydrated. You're gonna feel great. <laughs> I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Looking for a water, sir? You gotta get hydrated, right? Anyone need water? Want some H2O? Two for a buck. Two for a buck. What up, man? How you doing? Dollar. Yes, you got two for a buck, man. How you doing, man? Give me one water. I appreciate you, man. You, hey, you gave me two bucks. I know. Thank you, man. Thank you. You want one, sir? I appreciate you, man. I'm gonna donate to you. I don't want the water. Oh, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Eleven bucks. There's something going strong. There's something going strong. Have a great night. Oh, it's starting to rain. The two dollars and twenty-five cents left. All right, it's amazing how good that first bite of food is when you haven't eaten in a while. This is shit I'll never eat normally, but right now this is gonna be damn good. Hmm. Where am I gonna shit? This is exactly why I got the tarp. It's raining right now. It's gonna be a bit of a struggle. It's just about to be nightfall. I got probably another mile to go to get to my spot. Moment of truth, do I have the courage to stay out alone? We'll see. No matter how your life is going, you can always be grateful and you can always appreciate the little things. So here's a bunch of bushes right here. This is kind of the borderline that I want to set up camp at. Here's the pillow. It's not the most glamorous spot, but I can see people if they're approaching. It's relatively quiet. Good night, everybody. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, shit. I 
It's probably 3 a.m. Heard gunshots, pa pa pa. Car swerving. There's people yelling. It's easy to want to go pack it up right now, but I'm almost done. And uh, no, I don't think anybody really knows about me. Everything is wet. The tarp is wet. Hey there. Are you guys police? Is that police? Ah, fuck. That wasn't a good feeling. I thought the Milwaukee PD was pulling up at me. It was three dudes on scooters. That gave me a rush. My heart rate was gone. All right, I'm on the move. I didn't expect there to be so much traffic of people. I'm gonna pack it in, share my final thoughts in the morning. I have about three hours of sleep back in my system. I'm gonna take you to my campsite so I can show you the strategy behind it and also what happened when the, when the three guys rolled up on me. There was a ton of traffic around me, 334. I didn't realize how many people would be going through this park around bar close. You dumb piece of shit. The pussy you're going after is the worst pussy in the whole world. So here's my tarp, and you, oh my gosh, you can tell how wet it was getting. And this is the parking lot where three people pulled up. It looked like they could have been on police bikes. The police roll up in their bikes all the time, but I think it was three guys in scooters. It was a pretty wet and miserable night. So guys, I had the luxury to pack it in, to go somewhere about 345, take a shower, get some sleep. And it's sad to think that there's people in the world that do not have that, that have to choose how they're gonna eat, where they're gonna sleep. I'm not any closer to understanding this issue than I was before, which is, you know, a lot of these people truthfully put themselves in this position with an addiction issue. And, you know, can you imagine being such, such a person that your own mom wouldn't let you sleep on your couch or your friends wouldn't let you sleep on their couch for a month until you get back on your feet. So I don't know what the answer is for these people. It's a very complicated issue. I'm glad I did this challenge. The crazy thing was I got money faster begging for it than actually selling water bottles for it, which that blew my mind. Anywho, folks, there's a lot of people going through tough situations right now. The best thing we can do is operate with love and reason and try and work towards solutions that make this world a better place. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you. Peace.